the law intends to provide for that compliance and legal framework so that you know it compels uh, every stakeholder who processes personal data to act in a responsible transparent and accountable manner When you look at the act you need to understand the context it came into operation because in Sri Lanka there is no constitutional right to privacy uh, explicitly recognized uh, in the constitution itself and in addition to that there is no body of law uh, developed by courts in Sri Lanka which recognize a very detailed right to privacy which you might find in other jurisdictions so in 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 that background you see the government as well as the private sector in this rapid uh, pace towards digitization and you know collecting data and processing personal data without that kind of um, safety net provided by the le- uh, legal framework so in a context where self regulation kind of fails to address these concerns of individuals i think the uh, underlining um intention of the pdpa uh, the personal data protection act was to create this framework of compliance uh, uh, legal and regulatory compliance so that it will compel controllers and processors to devise their uh, data processing activities in a way that not only achieve their own ends uh, in terms of you know business uh, aspirations but also the expectations or information privacy expectations of their customers and public in general right. so i think in absence of you know other kind of safety network currently available the law intends to provide for that compliance and legal framework so that you know it compels uh, every stakeholder who processes personal data to act in a responsible transparent and accountable manner